I'm super excited. Today we are going to be working on some spring projects. I picked up this piece at the bins. It looks like it was a Hobby Lobby piece. Um, originally, they wanted to try to sell it at Goodwill for $8.99. I grabbed it for around $1.50. I sold it on my website for $24.95. Now we are going to give it a nice, nice antique chippy finish. I've got the end of some DIY weathered wood here and it looks like I didn't put the lid on great. So it's pretty dried out and thick. But the great news is we're gonna use that to our advantage and use it to create some texture. So I'm just gonna use a F30 here, a nice flat, smaller brush, and start stippling on in some random spots. Since the paint is pretty dry and thick, it's going to create some nice peaks, which will provide some amazing texture for our base coat. It's not giving me quite as much texture as I want, so I'm going to take a little bit of this DIY paint frosting, which is an additive that will thicken up your paint. You literally only have to use a drop or two for like a quarter cup paint. So a drop or two in this should thicken it up pretty quick and nicely. Generally when you use it, you mix it in with your paint, you let it sit for like overnight, but for purposes on this base coat, this will do just fine. I went ahead and let the paint frosting dry overnight since it is nice and thick and look at all of that beautiful texture it has created. Now we're gonna go on with a layer of DIY Sandy Blonde, which is a gorgeous kind of a crocky drop cloth color right over the top of the base coat of weathered wood. Got my Klingon R20, a nice big large round brush. It'll hold a good amount of paint and get this job done quickly. DIY paint is a clay-based paint. It's super thick and highly pigmented, which makes coverage so amazing. It is all natural, safe to use inside, and it is water soluble until it's sealed. I did, however, just go over the textured areas with this 220 grit sanding sponge, and you can see how that beautiful base coat of texture starts to come through. And it looks like the paint has naturally chipped off over the years. A lot of times you will see me use just a wet rag to distress back the DIY paint since it is water soluble, but if I would have done that in this case, it would have ended up blending the weathered wood and the sandy blonde together and not giving me the desired finish. Now to seal it up, I'm just using DIY clear wax, applying it with a brush, and you can see as soon as I put that wax on, the weathered wood really richens up and pops even more. That sandy blonde paint is going to darken up a little bit as I seal it. As it dries, it will lighten back up again. Now I'm gonna go in with some DIY dark wax. I'm not gonna need much, just a little bit here on my brush. Since I already put the clear wax on, it's gonna help act as a barrier and give me more control over this. I'm gonna work on getting it kind of into the corners and edges where dirt would have naturally built up over time. After I apply the dark wax where I want it, I take a clean paper towel and wipe back the excess. And you can see the difference between no wax and the waxed area. It just adds so much depth and detail to this piece. I kind of do a little bit of dry brushing with the wax over the entire thing, hitting the edges. And here is a look at the final result. So much prettier, in my opinion. Drop me a comment. Not a lot different than the original finish, but doesn't it look a lot more high-end? If you have a painting project or you'd like to grab some beautiful home decor to stage up in your home, head on over to my website, upcycledbybree.com. I thrifted these wooden pieces a while back. I thought they were some type of wall sconce, and it turns out they were actually like a DIY Dixie cup dispenser. I listed them up on my website to be painted, and now we are going to turn them into some cute little wall sconce flower or matchstick holders. 
They've got these little pieces of Velcro inside. I imagine that kept the Dixie cups from sliding all the way out. I'm just gonna use my razor scraper to remove them. And then we'll wipe the whole thing down with a wet rag and a little bit of Dawn dish soap. Comment below and let me know what you would turn these into. I love finding old handmade pieces at the thrift store and repurposing them. The way they are put together, they all kind of just slide apart. So I'm gonna go ahead and just remove the glass pieces since they're textured and that will make it a lot easier to paint. I'm using DIY Tarnished Pearl and my Feather Brush by DIY as well. I'm going to give these entire sconces two nice coats of paint. The Tarnished Pearl is one of the less pigmented colors, so definitely need two good coats to get full coverage on this dark wood. Then I simply slid the glass back in. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that it all fits and then we'll get them distressed up. But that already looks so much prettier with that light color. A little 220 grit sandpaper along the edges give these a nice older farmhouse finish. This pair has already sold, but I've got two more sets available on my website that you guys can purchase and flip for yourself. I'm sealing them up with a little bit of clear wax and again that paint really darkens up as it gets wet again but then it will lighten up and even back out as it dries. So I just simply flipped them upside down and now the opening is at the top and hung them, placed a little floral in one and placed a few matches in the other. Y'all could use these for many different things. Drop me a comment, let me know how you would repurpose them. You could also still buy the ones I have available and use them for Dixie Cups. I haven't taken the Velcro out yet. I'll let you make that decision, but I am just in love with this makeover. I'm so glad I picked these up. I thrifted these two wall sconce from the bins. And while right now they look a little outdated, I'm gonna give them a coat of DIY apothecary, a little wet distress, and I have a beautiful spring idea. These metal decor pieces are one of my favorite DIY flips. They are so simple. So I'm using the color apothecary, this beautiful vintage green, and I'm giving the entire sconce just one coat. And I'm not worried about full coverage because I am going to wet distress these pieces. Now I'm just gonna take a wet rag and wipe back a little bit of this paint. DIY paint is water soluble until it's sealed, which means I can remove it and distress it very, very easily with just a little bit of water. Bring back just a little bit of that metal color, make this look like it was aged and antiqued naturally over time. No clear wax on this project. I'm gonna go straight over the apothecary paint with the white wax and you can see how it really soaks into that clay paint a lot. So if you're newer to using wax or you don't want such a whitewashed effect, do your clear coat first. You could definitely still use these for candle pillars, but I took a bird's nest and a couple faux eggs and placed them on each sconce for a nice little spring touch. I have linked the nests and the eggs in my Amazon shop down below in the description box in case y'all wanna pick them up. I really do like the quality on these. What do y'all think about this final makeover? If you love these thrift flipping videos, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and send this video over to a friend who hasn't discovered the wonderful world of thrifting and flipping quite yet. Don't forget to follow and subscribe so you don't miss any new content. And until next time, I'll see y'all later. Bye friends.